October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and for more than 20 years, actress Suzanne Summers was a face for the fight against the disease. Summers, known for her role in the 1970s show Three's Company, lost her battle early Sunday morning. Today would have been her 77th birthday. Summers was one of more than 4 million women in the United States battling breast cancer. It's the second most common form of the disease for women behind skin cancer, but it does not develop equally across ethnicities and races. Research shows black women are more likely to develop breast cancer before the age of 40, and they have the highest death rate from that disease. Now tonight, we are highlighting one doctor's efforts to learn more about breast cancer in black women. I had the chance to speak with her this afternoon about the important life-saving work. Why? Why is this? Why are black women more likely to be getting this type of breast cancer than white women? It's a question that has driven the work of Dr. Christine Ambrosoni for more than 25 years. Dr. Ambrosoni, the chair of cancer prevention at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center, has been at the forefront of research into the causes and outcomes of breast cancer in black women. And we enrolled newly diagnosed women, black women and white women with breast cancer and interviewed them, asked a lot of questions about lifestyle, diet, uh, physical activity, all sorts of factors that have been thought to be related to cancer. To gain a better understanding, Dr. Ambrosoni teamed up with the leads of the Black Women's Health Study and the Carolina Breast Cancer Study to create the AMBER Consortium. And we decided we were going to really put our talents and our numbers together to be able to look at this. The Amber Consortium worked with more than 5,000 African-American women from across the country to further investigate risk factors. We found because there was enough estrogen receptor negative tumors, we found that having children actually increased risk of those types of tumors. And breastfeeding almost totally took that away. So this was kind of the, the finding of my lifetime. I got so excited. And I wanted to be there to be a voice. Dr. Alan Grant has participated in the Black Women's Health Study and Dr. Ambrosoni's research for years and is now putting this knowledge into practice at Roswell Park. What's lacking, what I tell our community, people, um, particularly women of color and, and, and men of color too, that they need to step up and volunteer to be a research participant. Both doctors tell me that breast cancer awareness and access to screening and treatment is improving, but stress that early detection is still the key. If you feel something, talk to your doctor, get a mammogram. And Dr. Ambrosoni's life-saving research continues with the New York Breast Cancer Study. She says if you receive a call to participate, please do so. We'll also have other resources available for you at WKBW.com.